Hello everybody, so I'm here going to be showing you a little bit about the streaming and the setups that I've done here, uh, rather complex, so let's start first and I'll turn down the audio, coming back from here, audio mixer, and that's my William Mac and my PC, okay. Beautiful. I think we better go into a normal screen there and turn this bit off here and maybe you can see me up the top corner. Wonderful. Okay, so as you probably know, with the UI24, you've got your USB outputs and uh, they're very simple. Basically, you have... Uh, to USB, one and two are left and right, three to 10 augs, 11 to 32 are the channels. You also have the inputs from USB and those are totally variable. Okay, so those are the inputs you choose to the channels and they go. So when you wanna send audio to USB, you basically don't change anything in here because it's already assigned all right that's all assigned automatically so in in for example in this program uh, i will have uh, input three and four now i'm going to share the desktop here and i'll show you once you install the usb interface onto a pc you've got down here the ability to select all the that's a wdm driver so you can select all the line outs, as you can see, uh, as you want. And also for the mic inputs, you can select the line in uh, as, as you wish. I'm monitoring everything together, for example, through the PC headphones, but the input is coming from right here, from the UI24. As you can see, if I turn down the level here, and that's controlling my input. And what I did is I set up a dual bus output uh, to three and four. The reason for that is, is because I want to have further processing with uh, two groups so I can do some ducking as well. Uh, so it's as simple as that. If I switch back to the, um, um, to the screen here, you will see, um, let's fade through to there and you will see down here that's my input three and four from usb now if you have a mac for example then it's very similar i'm using vmix because you can use any software and you can stream directly as well and i'll show that to you in a moment uh, with vmix we can stream to facebook youtube straight from here and OBS as well can do that. So if, uh, if you had a Mac, for example, uh, we'll switch over to that. So in the Mac, you have all these channels here. So I'm just turning towards the Mac here and you can see all the outputs and all the inputs are showing up on the Mac directly. And remember on the Mac, you've got input levels and output levels, and sometimes people forget about that. Uh, now, if we go to OBS, for example, so with OBS, again, you can select the audio capture card um, and a PC or a Mac will come up with the driver. And it's basically as simple as that for setting up USB. Now, where you're going to stream to, that depends on what you want to do, okay? Uh, the I would suggest Vimeo is the best audio quality and video quality. Now, Vimeo now allows you to also stream it to Facebook, to YouTube, to LinkedIn, all at the same time. Previously, you weren't able to do that, but now you can stream it to everywhere at the same time. Um, in, in reality, for the quality of the audio, I would just straight away go to Vimeo. 
uh, I think you'll save a lot of hassle from that point of view. You might like to add a compression compression at the end of it. You might like to add some uh, top end if there's too much uh, algorithms and your bitrate is uh, slow. But if going to Vimeo, you can really stream it at a much better level and much better qual quality. Okay, I, I don't think there's much else. It's not complicated, so don't make it complicated. Uh, now, let me go back to here and I'm going to grab Facebook from that point of view and we'll have a look here. So if I go there and into Facebook. So in Facebook streaming, it's very straightforward. I would go to my own and if you want to stream to a group, then you got to make sure that you have the actual um, authorization to do so on the group, okay, or on the page. So make sure you work that out. Otherwise, you can't do that. So, for example, I can share on my timeline. I can share to a page I manage or to a group. And right here, I would select the camera and the audio interface. Seeing that uh, we are already using the UI24 for vMix, it won't show it up here, but generally speaking, you can select it right away uh, and any camera you have or sharing a screen. Otherwise, in seriously, it's as simple as that. gonna put some music back on. Enjoy it. My mouth 